Yo, what's up guys? So in uh, today's video, I just recently found from Eastside Boys, if you guys aren't subscribed to him, go check him out. He's awesome. He just uploaded this little merge this morning, but no one's been really able to get it down. So I went and messed around with it as much as I could and figured a few things out and did get it to work. But maybe someone could mess around with it a little bit more and give us all a few bit pointers because maybe I got lucky when I hit it, but I, I did get it to work. It is a working method, so hopefully people will help out and try to get this working consistently. But yeah, it's pretty much the exact same method as before with knocking over the Fagio. So here you can see I'm just going to be knocking over my Fagio with the exact same method as the old car to car merge. So here I'm just going to knock it over, pull in the other car. I had a little bit of difficulty recording the video as it wasn't really working at first. So I'm just like pulling in different cars, trying with different cars. But like I was saying before, guys, if you haven't checked out Eastside Boys, go check him out. He's awesome. He uploaded this little workaround this morning. But no one was really being consistent with it or had really idea how he hit it because he wasn't really talking. But that's besides the point. So let's get back into this. So now I'm just going to be pushing this up to the door and trying to get this knocked over. So I tried a few cars and it didn't work. So here I just grabbed my big truck and I was like, screw it. So I'm going to push this Fagio in with the big truck. And then the new workaround pretty much is the old like RC to car kind of thing where you had to call Simeon or Gerald and request a job. And once you get that job, you just hover over the message to join it and you just pause. As soon as you release pause, you accept Gerald's job. And if done correctly, you'll hear like a double click in the background. But now that I got everything glitched out inside my arena, I'm just going to go return this big truck to storage. But before I do that, this is the car I wanted to fix. So I figured I'd pull this car in. And then I return the big truck to storage. Alright, so now I was trying to get out of here because the way I got it to work is I got teleported inside my car. So you can see here how I got I teleported out. I was trying to get teleported in my car because you have to get a left D-pad option in order to return it back to storage before you go into the Titan of a job. So here I was like, what what can I do? I went and grabbed this big truck here, the Sasquatch, and went and pulled it in so that when I pull in my next car, it's like underneath it. So here, I'm just gonna pull it in and return the other car to storage. So when I pull the new car in, the truck is on top of me, so I get teleported inside my car. So I'm not sure at this point if you would have to merge whatever color to the truck and then maybe use the truck as a donor. I'm not too sure, guys. But at this point here, this was the 190Z that I was wanting to fix. So I'm just going to hop in it and pull this in. So now when I pull it in, the truck's on top of me and it teleports me out of it. So you can see here, as soon as I exit my vehicle, I'll put it in slow motion so you guys can see I teleport out. That was like the only way I got this to work. Hopefully someone else will figure something out. But there, I'm teleported out of my vehicle. So I'm just going to hop in the Sasquatch and hit right D-pad so the game thinks I'm in this truck. But now when I go to the back here, I get teleported in by pressing triangle or Y. So now that I'm in the vehicle, <clears throat> I'm just going to get out, get back in the Sasquatch so the game thinks I was in that vehicle. I don't think you have to do this part because you didn't hit right D-pad when you got in the 190. So sorry, you don't really got to do that part there. But I was just trying to get this to work. So now I'm just going to call Simeon and request the job. 
which I had already done. So now I'm just going to hold pause, release pause, and accept his job. You'll hear a double click. You'll hear the pause menu come up and you accepting the job. But from there, you just want to hit go over and hit tighten up job. And then once you get in, into tighten up a job, you're just going to press circle or B to back out of it. And then once you have backed out of tighten up a job, you just want to immediately press triangle to get in the car. So here I'm just going to press triangle one or two times to get in and immediately press left D-pad. So I'm triangle left D-pad like as fast as possible. And if done correctly, you should load into tighten up a job. But when you back out of tighten up a job, the car's in the spot. And it's all merged over. So you can see I didn't hit it that time. So I'm just going at it one more time here. I'm just going to do the same thing over. Run over. Alright, so now I'm just going to pause. And accept Simeon's job here. So pause, release pause and accept it. You'll hear the double click there. But at this point, you just want to launch up Titan again. And as soon as you get in Titan of a job, just immediately B or circle and back out. And then triangle and left D-pad, guys. You got to hit that fast. Triangle, left D-pad. So I'm, I'm going to be pressing circle here to back out of the job. Quit it. And then get in and immediately have hit left D-pad, guys. And if done correctly, the car is going to go back to its original spot, but be merged over from the truck you were previously in. So hopefully someone can mess around with this and figure some more steps out, guys. But here to save it, you just want to drive in and modify one thing on it. Just change the suspension, put some armor on it, anything like that to save it. But like I was saying previously, if you guys haven't checked out Eastside Boys, go check him out. And big shout out to everyone who's probably going to be working on this and figuring out a method so it's not as difficult. But I did hit it one time and it did work, guys. But don't forget to drop a like on today's video and sub to the channel for future GTA 5 videos like this one. But thanks, everyone. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.